So it says you might need a rubber mallet. So I got my rubber mallet. I put the cardboard on the concrete so we don't scratch anything. And let's start identifying parts. So these two panels are mirror images of each other. So I'll set that down. And this one has tabs in the side, three tabs. It corresponds to three holes. There's three holes here, one, two, three. So, let's see if I can do this back here where you can see it. So, just take it, line the tabs up with the holes, and tap them in. One down. Once again, put this in here. You see that? I'm lining things up. Put my foot underneath it. Line up the holes. Once they're lined up, then I set it down. Give it a tap. And that part is on. If you have a propane one, number two is the one with a hole in it. If you don't have a propane one, there's no hole. So, and this looks like it's identical no matter which way you do it. This one has this guy here. That's a little locking tab that you bend over. And it says this side down. Very helpful. So, put this in like this. Locking tabs go inside like that. Okay, so put the shelf inside like I'm doing now. Lift it up. Line up your back corners with those slots. And then the front locking tab goes in. And the front locking tab over here goes in. All right, that sits in the slot back here. Okay, if it's like that. All right, we put the black bolt in loosely because it gets tightened down when you put the top on. All right. So we have. This one goes in here like this. So it's like that, but opposite. Now we have this guy. This goes to the back over here. All right. And we get one bolt that goes through. We take one black bolt. We just hand start this here. All right. Both of these go to the front. This funky thing. So you just put it in here, slide it up, slide this through the hole here, just moves in like that, and take your black bolt and start it. Don't fully tighten it here, and it has another showing here, shows a bolt that goes through here as well. So let's take another bolt and find the hole. And just hand start that. Don't tighten it up all the way. Okay? So there's some discrepancy with the uh, the manual. The uh, rounded side goes to the top. Slide it in. Line it up. Screw it in. Leave it loose. Okay? So here's your locking tab in the front. Your other locking tab in the front. That just slides in. This is your opening in the back, so that corner fits in that little hole. Okay, there's the hole over there. So it just slides in, okay? And it seems, you know, wiggly but solid. So it looks like these are 3 8 And the PEM nuts I was showing you before, these go into where the PEM nuts are. Okay.
So I've got a little mini Ryobi impact gun, 3 8 bit for it. And I'm just going to shoot these bolts. I'm not going to tighten them super tight, just shoot them basically. Tighten them up after if I need to. Four on the sides. One, two, three, four. On the back. There's one, two, three, four on the back here. So I've got the 500. <laughs> so the magnetic catches here. There's the magnet, okay, and they've got these two little spring clips on them. You just slide it in place, and they'll lock in. So you just push them in. And they lock in place, they won't come out. Top and bottom. Alright, that's a nice little system, I like that. Alright. So you flip this over. Here's the part for the feet. It's got the hole. And then these just squeeze in place. There is a space here. You see that slot? That corresponds to one part that sticks out further. See how this one sticks out further? It doesn't fit in that way, right? Because the slot's in the way. But if you put it over here, the slot lines up. You just tap that in. So, line them all up. Start them by hand. You can pretty much push these in by hand. Okay. Push them down by hand. Finish them off. These are all swivel and locking. So push them all the way in. So there's this little uh, spot down here at the bottom. Push it all the way down to that. It's got to go right to the plastic. Okay. Here's your door handles. I'm just gonna pull the plastic off of them. Now they have the bolt started in them. Now these are plastic, so you don't want to over tighten these. Okay. And it goes on like this. So, fill up the screwdriver. I'm going to put this through here and I'm going to hold on to the handle and hand start it. Okay. Same with this one here. Put the screw through. Right. I move my handle to where the screw is supposed to be. Line that up. Once it, it's in, you just want to tighten her a bit by hand. Okay. So, once that's in, then just give it a snug it up, but don't kill it. 
snug. The door has these little spot slots. So we're going to take this guy out. We'll do one at a time here. Okay. And you put the hook on it and screw it in with the hook. There's a little hole for the hook to sit in. Make sure the hook is in the hole. Snug it up. Let's pop this back out. That's a pain. Alright, it doesn't show it on the other door, but it comes with four hooks. So I'm going to do the same to the other door. There's like a plastic insert here, and uh, it feels nice and sturdy. They're nice looking. Basically like a hinge washer. And these go on the bottom here. These will go down here, down by the wheels. I'm going to put our doors on that. Okay. So, they have these little pins, and they have this knurled edge, which is right here. The knurled edge goes into the door. So, I'm going to pick a side, and I'm going to put the knurled edge in. And you might have to tap this in, so I've just tapped it down. And it should be in once the knurling disappears. Okay. So, the same side on the bottom, you gotta put one down here as well. Okay. So down at the bottom, this part fits in here, that, and then the top, I'm just gonna have to That's why you have to keep it loose so you can wedge it in. Not fully tightened because we gotta adjust the, this on the top, I think. So we'll just put that there for now. Alright, so they have this little plastic spacer. And the spacer. Which way does that go? According to this, the spacer goes the flat top, flat part to the top, and you just push it in like this, and that locks in place. <clears throat> you have to make sure that that's down all the way. All right, and that's for your door operation. Now you can adjust the door by moving this screw, this bolt. The tighter it is, the further it pulls the door out. Okay. So you can adjust that back and forth until you get the door uh, gaps to be properly set. So this gap here in the middle, you can adjust the screw and you can adjust how big that gap is. So I'll mess around with that later. So. Alright, so I had to get the neighbor to help me lift the top part on. So. The lid is on, and so is the firebox assembly. It all comes together, and I'm stuck. And you have to set that on top of your base. And then the other thing you got to worry about is you've got to pull this uh, gas line through. Okay, that's got to be pulled through, and this uh, wire harness has to come through as well. So you have to pull that through. And then on the sides, you have four more of these bolts to go on. So that bracket fits up inside. You have to put it straight in 
so you'll probably have to bend it a little bit to get it to access properly and then put these in tighten them up tighten the bottom one okay do the other All right. All right, so here we have four self-tapping screws. These are thread rolling self-tapping screws, whatever you want to call them. This hole and this hole here. So you put them in, but not all the way in. Oh, too far. I'll leave them out just a touch. This is the shelf with the burner, so it has these holes here. So you put the screw through and then line it up at the top, slide it down. So let's put that in. I think they're in too far still, so unscrew them a little bit more. Okay, let's see if we can get them on here. All right. If you have the burner, this doesn't fold down. You have to tighten it up. So you go back underneath, tighten up those four screws. Okay. And then we have to hook up this burner. I'm going to take this burner out so it's easier to do. So we'll just take out these screws. The screw has a washer, so don't lose that. All right. So this is it. It has this gas fitting here. And it just has to fit in there. So let's see if we can focus on that a bit this up and it's going to fit in here and then there's a uh, I want to bend this so it looks even and there there's a clip that goes on it and holds it into position so I'm just going to try to bend this so that it will sit nicely And then hold that in position as much as possible and set this clip inside. Hmm. Of course. Aha! Golden. So here's the clip, it just slides down here. There's a groove, you just have to push it all the way down. It locks in place. So you have to run this cable here, over, and you just push it on here, slide it in, so it's nice and tight. And then we are going to set this down again, and put it in the correct position. So that's in. Over here in the firebox. Look how nice this firebox is. Okay, we can get rid of the sticker. It's been tested, that's why it's discolored. These are really nice and thick, like some of the thickest ones you'll see, which is really cool. So, in there. 
this is your drip tray and that goes down to your grease tray at the bottom I don't know if you can see that at the bottom and it is over here so the little cover goes like this and it goes around this so there's a little tab at the back you just snap it in Move this stuff over. There we go. That's good. All right. So this has a ledge on it down the side, and then there's a ledge here and over here. Be careful with this stuff here that you don't cut those wires. Okay. So. Sort of boy. All right, slide it all the way to the back. That's golden. This is the removable shelf. And this in here. And then slide up like that. Lift it up and bring it down. All right, so they have these little guys here. And just like a cover. And you push it in until it locks. There we go. So you gotta push pretty stiff to get this to lock. Push really hard. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Now it won't fall out. So you can you lift up the whole shelf, bring it up, set it down. It's nice and sturdy. Lift it up, rotate it and it gives you a little bit more space we'll never have it like that it'll always be up for us <laughs> all right so we have our natural gas hose right and this quick connect this fitting goes to your gas line and it's a quick connect that you can unhook your barbecue all right and there should be a shutoff valve for this as well which i already have i already have a quick connect now you have to route this through that grommet in the back. So, route the hose through the grommet, pull that through this spot right here, this and this wire harness. They have to be clipped in. So, we are going to take them like this, wrap this harness around them, and push it in. I will clip it into place. It's not a very good clip. Let's try this. Yeah. Anyway, that's to help keep it in line. So, this is your battery pack. The battery pack illuminates the knobs and works your starter. So we're going to put our batteries in our battery pack. They take three D cells. Those are the big batteries, big round ones. And then close the cover, snap it into position. And this has magnets on it, so you don't have to screw it in at all. You just have to put your coupler in. Once you put your coupler in, you can just put this here and you're good to go. It has a little light push button. So when you're cooking, you turn your lights on and then when your flame is on, it goes to red. It tells you that you have one of your burners is on. Okay. 
pretty nice. You can turn that off. Alright, as you can see, my barbecue's already seen a lot of heavy use. In fact, it's seen so much use, I need to clean it. Uh, <laughs> but, before you put all these parts in, okay, what you're going to want to do is wash them off with soap and water, because some of them have grease in them. Then you take the top grate, and that has basically the bars run across, straight across the top. And it has the support underneath. And that just fits in here. Slide that in, really simple. Then you have these flavorizer rods. You can see all the grease burns off of them. Okay, And they just sit in here. So they just sit in on top of the little slots inside. They line up nicely. Once again, wash those off before you uh, install them with soap and water because they, they are oily. And also the stainless steel grates. Wash those off and they just sit like it's greasy now so I don't really want to touch it all that much. But they just sit on the front like that. And there's a little ledge that they sit on, so super easy to install, okay? And then over here, you've got your side burner, and once again, clean that off and install it.